Who's the president in 1981? Which Star Wars episode was the destruction about to run? Grab the smartest friends, you know it's time to start the game. For rated trivia, we're here to train your brain. All as I know is that every single Monday I don't eat anything all day because we're getting Hot Fingers trivia ready. And then we have to talk about all this great food that Dine and CT has, especially a new Mexican place in West Hartford, right by where we are. So Sarah will be telling you who they are. And you can win gift cards from Dine and CT to order for them. Uh, free food, free delivery, all those things you can get by playing our game. It's the 6 p.m. Dine and Win. It's Goldberg here. In New Britsky, Connecticut, here on a, uh, well, a Monday, September 14th, 2020. Hope you had a good weekend. And, of course, I'm always joined uh, during these shows by my two wonderful co-hosts. First off, we'll start with my uh, my lovely co-hostess, six feet socially distanced to my south left, Miss Sarah Wadsey. Hello, hello. Hi, Rob. You're hanging in there? Yes, I am. You're, I'm hanging in there. You're surviving? Yep. And are you excited for what is to be the greatest online trivia game of the day absolutely yes oh, i yeah. don't know of any other ones that are going on oh, today yeah, oh, so yeah. you're lucky you're here with us for this but sarah it is good to see you my dear Thank and you. uh who is this mexican restaurant in west hartford that we're ex- actually i can't wait to eat from i'm gonna order from this free delivery all week who who is this from dining connecticut that they're featuring yeah i truly can't wait to go to this restaurant called frida and uh i'm guessing strongly since her pictures on their website and stuff that it's named after frida Kahlo. And it is Mexican cuisine. I would go through the menu pretty closely, but I can't pronounce a lot of the stuff on it. But you know, Mexican. So that means it's like real good yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really good. It looks really, really good. I would have to ask what some of these things are. It's not are a there, cheesy but... gordita crunch? No, okay. no. But uh, you know, appetizer salads, tortillas, uh, food from the sea, mariscos, and uh, of course, platos fuertes, some entrees. Um, lots of meat on the menu, lots of seafood, lots, um, of, cheese, lots of cheese. And uh, it looks really, really good. It's where Tapas used to be. So if you're from the area of West Hartford, um, you might have gone to Tapas, which unfortunately shut down. And now we have Frida, opened by Sandy. She's Colombian. Her husband's Mexican. And they've created a beautiful restaurant with delicious foods you can get free delivery from this week through Dine and CT. Thank you very much, Sarah. And uh, we've got uh, actually... What's going on here? We have, is this, is this Colt? Six feet to my north left, our video producer. Mr. Colt, what, what happened to your hair? You, you got it cut. I know. Uh, <laughs> Colt cut his hair. It looks good, man. Yeah, it was time for my three yearly <laughs> Three year haircut. That's how long it was. You basically yeah. stopped cutting your hair when you started working for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of. All right, and there we go. Well, you look good, man. You look Thanks. good. It's perfect for the uh, the fall, changing yeah. the seasons, changing the hair. It had to go. Tell us, much. tell us what you think, ladies. Hashtag Colt's hair. <laughs> Colt's new do. It's Hashtag. like I've never seen him without a hat on, almost. <laughs> and I'm wearing. No, I'm not today. allowed to wear them now because I'm new hair. No, you got it. You got to do it. You're looking Show good, it my friend. Show looking off. good. Colt's been working hard on our YouTube channel as well, which if you ever miss <laughs> one of these shows and you're playing one of our live games, definitely go and check out the well, the whole show or the end of the show because we always have your 50-point phrase, which if you tell one of the hosts at a Hot Fingers live game, which we have 29 weekly locations now, you give them the 50-point phrase, you get 50 points added on to your score. We'll give you that at the end of the show. But first, we have to get through the show first. <laughs> yeah. We got we to gotta start somewhere. So what you need to do is go to crowd.live forward slash D-N-E-I-N. Crowd.live forward slash D-N-E-I-N. That is how you log into the game. And we're seeing the numbers fly on up right now. So welcome into our little online quiz here. And let's tell you how the game plays and works if you haven't played before. And you're watching this live screen uh, stream on your screen on our Barbara Trivia Facebook page, on a separate screen or device, use the link crowd.live as forward slash dying in to join along. There's D-N-E-I-N. Uh, the broadcast began at 6 p.m. Questions start around at 6.15. Three categories, 10 questions each, 30 questions, uh, 30 seconds to answer each question. And uh, there's a lag in the video, so make sure you're paying attention to your screens, not with us playing in-house. Uh, like this video, leave comments. Top three players at the end of the game win prizes. Uh, the only rules are no cheating, but nobody can. We, we, we're seeing you play live, so you can't do that. So just have fun. And your categories today are going to be jewels and gemstones, Saturday Night Live, 
and Major League Baseball legends. And I'll tell you also, well, in a second, why we're going to talk about Major League Baseball. Baseball in general, we're excited about something we have coming up. Uh, but your prizes that you are going to win for this game are, as always, awesome. $50 gift card for first, 30 for second, 20 for third. You're going to get those within 24 hours. And, again, free delivery from Frida in West Hartford all week long. So that's $50 off your bill at Frida with free delivery through Dine and CT if you win. Just just think about, you know, it works. It works. Uh, and we'd love to, when you get your deliveries, if you win, send, put a you know post a picture and hashtag hot fingers. We'd love to see you getting your food from uh, Dine and CT. That would be really cool. Right? Yeah. Has anybody done that? No. I don't think so. Just thought it up right now. So do that, people. Do it. And the other thing that we need you to do Oh, well, we probably should have given Colt the graphic now that I think about it. But uh, we have a a very cool announcement to tell you about what's going on on the 28th of September. It's our biggest, well, socially distanced event that we've done. We're doing the office-themed trivia uh, at Dunkin' Donuts Park, where the Yard Goats play. So we're, we're really excited about that. We've got, yeah, I got my yard goat's hat at least. It's too small to fit my head. That's why I'm wearing my Patriots. You do have a big head. (laughs) My noggin grew a little bit. Or the hat shrunk. I don't know. Uh, (laughs) But, uh, yeah, that's exciting. And, uh, Colt, I apologize for not getting you that graphic. Remind me. I'll get it to you later. Okay. Um, Remind me to remind you. But but check us out on, (laughs) yeah, that's what usually you do. Um, (laughs) Keep us uh, locked on Facebook. I think the event page is going up tomorrow. Tickets are on sale now, and I think uh, we did put a link up on our Facebook page for Barbara Trivia to get in on that because tickets are limited. All right. Where our game is going to officially start up in about six minutes, but before we do that, we always, in these troubled times, like to do something that puts a little bit of a, you know, smile on our face, and we do so by doing a segment called Sarah's Smile Time. And before we do our trivia game, Sarah's going to enlighten you on special magic and living every day so sarah i have no idea what it is today make me smile make me smile uh well i (laughs) don't worry about anybody else all right i just okay it's all about you (laughs) um i do try to find a positive story every week and this one involves goats um which i love like yard goats yeah like yard goats oh cool okay yeah 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 so um i usually do story about animals this isn't technically about goats but they're involved and that's what counts um, and that is this story. New York is turning the world's largest garbage dump into a green oasis of native grasses. And they're also using the changeover from being a dump um, with all the methane gas to fuel and power homes. So ah. the, we're talking 150 million tons of trash were there. Some of the trash piles reaching 20 stories high. And uh, getting rid of that, turning it into what will be a 2,200-acre park right outside of New York City. That's huge. That's three times the size of Central Park right there. And uh, there'll be playgrounds, baseball, diamond thingies, and handball courts, along with, obviously, lots of trails. And the wetlands are being restored, so there'll be water. And it's just going to be so huge. Like, so, 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 so huge. And I have this quote here just to describe it in a poetic fashion. Centered around four capped garbage mounds, fields of native grass species sparkle and wave under the sun, and trails through d- sun dappled groves give habitat to mid Atlantic birds like the grasshopper sparrow. And of course, people will enjoy this park, which will be called Fresh Kills Park after the original marshland that it was. So I just like the turning garbage into a beautiful park, and the goats are coming in. They have. Yeah, I was um, going to say, I'm waiting for the goats here. So they're bringing the goats <laughs> as the. They have the ecological grass. restorative properties, so I think that means eating garbage, but All right. um, that's the way it's worded in the article, so I just like the fact that there's goats involved. I don't know. I like the the idea of a beautiful park where garbage was. That's awesome. Well, that's great that you could use it. Thank you very much. That's Sarah's <laughs> Smile Time, Special Magic and Living Every Day. And, yeah, I mean, I, I keep thinking that. We're, we're based out of, you know, Hartford County in, in Hartford, Connecticut, and then if you're going up 91 North, there's that huge mound that is the trash dump which they've closed down as well i think yeah. that one's all done too so yeah wonder what they'll do with that at some point well phase one of this park will open next spring and then it'll take a decade to have the full park but it will cool. happen hey as long as it's yeah. happening and it's being done responsibly that is good to hear thank you very much sarah and thank you for joining us we have our 6 p.m dine in and win trivia experience coming up at you in just about three minutes again go to crowd.com 
live forward slash D-N-E-I-N to play the game. And uh, what a game it will be. Jewels and Gemstones is your category for round number one. Yes, Saturday Night Live for round number two. I I haven't really watched, well, not that there's any new Saturday Night Lives on now, I think. That's how I get my news, so it's really messed up when they don't have it. Yeah, I get my news from Howard Stern, so I guess it's both good, reliable, funny sources. Uh, Well, I guess they're both. I trust them more than most of the media. That's what I mean. Uh, and then uh, Major League Baseball Legends, because baseball is in, no pun intended, full swing. <laughs> and we're excited to be doing our <laughs> game at, uh, well, we're going to have, the, there's going to be more trivia games played at Dunkin' Donuts Park than baseball games, I think, after September 28th, because we have our office themed at trivia. Now, I'm not happy to have that fact be said, but I think that's the case. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun for that. So stay tuned. More information is coming up. And look at our Facebook page for the link to purchase tickets. And we'll have our main page up tomorrow. Frida is your free delivery. Loca- Frida. Look I at know. that. Free. Duh. Free. Frida tacos. <laughs> free to free tacos. Free delivery. Oh, yeah, yeah. And dine in CT. If you haven't gone there, great <laughs> contactless delivery all through Hartford County, most of Connecticut. Go to dineandct.com, put in your zip code, and you're going to see where you can get delivery from. And they're adding restaurants all the time. Actually, uh, my friend Teresa is now one of their uh, area managers. Mm-hmm. Is bringing new people up. Is going to be helping us. Uh, you're going to see some cool, new, fun stuff from Dine and CT coming in this show. So we're excited for that. Uh, new locations, too. Even some live dine-in games as well. So, that being said, it is hashtag Team Sarah. Or Wadzi versus hashtag team haircut cult. <laughs> and uh, that's going on right now. I don't know. Jewels and gemstones. I don't know. How much do you know about Saturday Night Live, Colt? Quite a bit, actually. Oh, I'm right, a fan. Right. Yeah. Baseball, none of you. Neither one of you. I that one, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I see. So I think that's going to be the decider. Jewels and gemstones might be kind of a tough one. We'll see how it goes. Get ready to play. Crowd.live forward slash D N E I N. I'm Goldberg. Colt's here. Sarah's here. And we're glad you're here, too. Get ready. In about 30 seconds, my time. I am going to get our game started. I think I'm actually running early today. Did I forget something? I think we hit it all. Um, no, six um, four, it's 614. I know. It's usually 616 when I start this off. Well, all right. You, you want to talk oh, for a couple more minutes? No, no. We're right? out of time. I already started the counter down. So I got 15 <laughs> more seconds okay. until I start the game. And you're going to see your 10-second countdown. After each 10 questions, we will be pausing the game. So, again, good luck to you, and thank you for joining us here on a Monday. Oh, the phrase we forgot. No, the phrase we tell them at the end. end. That's not that. Did we mention it I mentioned it, yeah. A 50-point phrase at the end. We're going to talk about our schedule after this category, too, but thank you, Colt. I'm not paying attention. No, well, we could (laughs) have talked about it more, I guess. All right, here we go. (laughs) (laughs) It's still new for us. All right, so here you go. Seven, six. Five, six, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> whatever. Here we go. Here is question number one in the classic Peter Seller comedy, The Pink Panther. What kind of gem was the Pink Panther? It wasn't an actual panther. They just called it one. Was it a, a, a fire opal, a diamond, a ruby, or a sunstone? We're going to go uh, uh, ladies first. Uh, Sarah, you're up today. I have no I, I didn't know that he was a gem. Uh, I'll say ruby. You're going to say it was a ruby. Mm-hmm. Pink Panther was a ruby. What about you, Colt? Uh, yeah, that kind of means pink. Yeah, because right. if you add some weight, uh-huh. then it's pink. I don't know. All right, let's see. 37% Uh-oh. saying diamond, and the answer was diamond, so you're both wrong. Okay, you're, fine. You're both wrong on this one. Uh, Martha, Amoeba, and Evan, first, second, and third right now. They got that right. All right, what gemstone, which is essentially fossilized tree resin, is the softest? Would it be quartz, amber, uh, jabe, or amethyst? Make a note on that jabe right there. All right, uh, Colt. <laughs> I would have thought that was a real thing. Jabe. Oh uh, Colt says Jabe. <laughs> no. Jabe. No. I'm going go with Amber. Colt's saying Amber. What about you, Sarah? Amber, it yes. Is. Yeah. We've all seen Jurassic Park. That's what I was uh, thinking. Is this going to be a social? Or is anybody guessing Jabe? <laughs> One person guessing Jabe, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they, they need a social. You got to turn that B around. It'd be Jabe. Uh, Martha, oh Evan, and me, but first, second, and third. I can't even. Oh. Uh, Whatever. 
Mm-hmm. One out of 30 ain't bad. Uh, for its abundance of natural resources, which U.S. state is nicknamed the Gem State? Is it Idaho, Arkansas, Nevada, or Montana? Uh, Sarah, what, what is the Gem State? Um, I, Montana. You're guessing Montana is where you get all those gems. I all right, what about no you, Cole? Idea. I'm going to say Idaho. Cole's saying Idaho. They're known for their potatoes. I guess that's like a, well, that grows in the ground. It's a ground sure. gem. It's a ground us. gem. <laughs> well, let's see. You're with 10%. Actually, Nevada getting 39%. Uh, the No, Cole, you're correct. What? Idaho. It's not just the potato state, what? it's the gem state, too. Moving there. Evan, the Martha, Amoeba. Yeah, it's potatoes. two things you love. Sparkly things, Sarah. <laughs> and uh, I just broke my pen. Uh, and also potatoes. Oh, boy. All right. How many years are celebrated with a ruby anniversary? Ruby, oh, ruby, ruby, boy. ruby. Let's see. Uh, 20, 30, 40, or 50 years. Uh, Colt. 30? Colt saying a ruby in the anniversary is... 30 years, Sarah. <laughs> I also think 30. I don't know why. I don't know. It's feels, called a guess. It that's feels why. Right. Yeah. You feel it in the cockles of your brain? <laughs> the deep crevasses. Uh, crevasse. 30 years getting the majority, <laughs> uh, but you're both wrong. It would be 40 years. Which got 30 oh, you got to stay together. Oh, got 30. For, ah, look at that back there. You okay. got to stay with someone for 40 years to get a ruby. Evan, bear down, huck fillery for a second and third. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It depends on the size. Okay. What gemstone, <laughs> popular Native American art, gets its name from the European country that first imported it from the mines of Persia? Would it be emerald, uh, alexandrite, alexandrite, sorry, turquoise, or iolite? Sarah. Uh, I'm going to go with C, turquoise. Uh, turquoise? Turquoise. 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 I, guess, I don't know. I just don't know. All right. Colt. I'll go with Emerald. All right, why not? You're wrong. Uh, Sarah. <laughs> yes. Is it yeah, turquoise? Yeah, what, have you ever been seen anything Native American? It's all turquoise. It's literally all turquoise. Yeah, it's literally 84%. It's Jeez, Colt, come It's on. very it's true. It's 100% true. It's go. so true. Evan, bear down, Huck Fillery, first, second, and third. Oh, man. It's okay, Colt. Uncultural. <laughs> Un- uncultural. <laughs> uncultural. Which two gemstones are scientifically the same mineral but different colors? Diamond and topaz, ruby and sapphire, emerald and garnet, or amethyst and tourmaline. Tourmaline. Uh, so she's a cult. Uh, I'm going to say ruby and sapphire. They go together somehow. Okay. Mm, I'm going to go so. for emerald again. All right, Sarah. Amethyst and tourmaline. Uh-huh, tourmaline. Oh, there you go, Sarah. Guess what? Colt's right on this one. What? Yep, it would be rubies and sapphires. What? Are rubies based. are red and sapphires are blue. They said, but they're different colors, but they're yeah. the same. That's literally the question. That was my biggest What are the same thing, <laughs> but are different colors? Oh, okay. Colors. <laughs> Martha Evan Huck Fillery, first, second, and third. Oh, I'm glad you guys enjoy this stuff. All right, well, what film did Nicole Kidman wear a necklace made from 1,308 diamonds, one of the most expensive pieces of jewelry ever used in a movie? Was it Bombshell, Moulin Rouge, mm. uh, Portrait of a Lady, or Eyes Wide Shut? Uh, Sarah. Oh, gosh. Um, Moulin Rouge. You're going to go Moulin Rouge? Yeah. Colt! She did sing about diamonds in Moulin Rouge. It might be Eyes Wide Shut, though. You're saying Eyes Wide Shut? All right. That was my first guess, and then I said. I like the way Colt's thinking today because, you know, it's funny when he gets them all wrong. 61% guessing Moulin Rouge, and that is correct. So good job, Sarah. You are up 4 to 2. Come on, Colt. You got to make that haircut proud of you right now for uh, winning trivia. Martha Evan Amoeba first. Here we go. uh, Metamorphic Rock. Prize for its intense hue. What color is lapis lazuli? Lazuli. Oh, well, Sarah might know the answer. There's lapis lazuli. Blue, green, red, or orange. Look, I even made it the same color. Uh, Colt. Blue? You're going blue. Lapis lazuli. Sarah? Azul. Yes, blue. It, it, you're sure of this? Yeah. Oh, this round's right up your alley right now. I didn't I mean, know yeah. I knew so much. About gems and... Uh, yeah. And uh, what is it? Jewelries and gemstones. 77% guessing blue. And blue is the hue that lapis lazuli is. Martha knowing her gemstones. 559 amoeba. Regan coming up. 499. Uh, here we go. Here's question number nine with two questions left. But not being worn for important national ceremonies. Where are Britain's crown jewels kept? <laughs> Buckingham Palace, Winter Castle, the Tower of London, or Westminster Abbey? 
Holy moly. Yeah, why not? Question's getting harder, Sarah. What is the answer? I have no idea. I have no idea. I either. literally have no idea. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say the palace, like in a highly secure place. In Buckingham Palace. Secret right. door. What about you, Cole? That's what I was going to say. Room. You're saying it doesn't go any further from the palace. No, they tuck those away in the Tower of London. Oh, I thought that, that was a trick answer. Ah, like there are no trick questions. Only trick answers. Martha, Amoeba, Regan, first, second, third. Carly's in fourth. Last question for this category. Uh, which of these is not part of the anatomy of a diamond? Would it be a table, the girdle, <laughs> pavilion, or the hood? Oh, my God. So those are like the parts. You know, there's the top, the sides, the points. Which part of those is not part of the anatomy of a diamond? Colt, you've bought plenty of these for ladies. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to say girdle. You're going to say the girdle. All right, Sarah? Uh, I'm... I uh, a pa uh, pavilion. You're going to see the pavilion. Right. I don't know. So, All right, let's see. Well, at 37% going with pavilion also, Sarah. Uh, but no, there is no hood of a diamond. The pavilions were like all the sparkles are happening and all that stuff. The, oh, uh, I thought that would have been the table hood. table would be the top and then, yeah. No, oh, that's, hey, that's good guess, but wrong. So <laughs> that being said, after one round... We've got Martha in the lead with a total of 654, one point out. Regan with 653 and Amoeba Plus, I'll give you that, with a 634 out of the 60 plus people we have playing our game right now. So good job to you. Sarah, you getting out of that with five out of 10. Okay. Colt, you only got three. Okay. So it's gonna be one of them games so today. Seed of expectations. Uh, yes, you got more than none. So that's what you were <laughs> planning on doing. I would have I would have tried to strive for at least five, but, you know. Next time. It's okay. We're not playing for anything. We haven't gotten that far. Don't forget, uh, at the end of this show, we've got your 50-point phrase. We have uh, 28 live trivia games going on this week between uh, Tuesday and Sunday. We're going to tell you about them in just a bit. But first, before we get to round number two, which is going to be Saturday Night Live, which Woo! I was going to cue up the music, but I can't. We're going to get kicked off Facebook if I play that. Yeah, so, don't do that. Yeah. It's Saturday Night Live. You get it all. That's coming up next. But here's Sarah first to tell us about uh, our friends over at Dine in Connecticut. So in case you haven't heard of Dine in Connecticut, it's our local friendly contactless delivery service with over 200 restaurants to choose from. Um, anything you're craving, literally from the saltiest thing to the sweetest thing, you can get delivered to your house. And uh, you can go to dineinct.com for more information. Just put in your address and see what you can get delivered tonight or tomorrow or the next day. You can always pre-order as well. They're very helpful, so if you call 860-673-DINE, that's 3463, they'll help you pick some stuff out. And uh, don't forget about the free delivery to Frida of West Hartford all week long, and only you know about that from watching our 6 p.m. Dine-In and Win. So if you're craving like real authentic, real authentic Mexican food, that's going to be the restaurant. Go check out their uh, menu. I got hungry just looking at it. And usually I'd say keep that a secret, but tell everybody. Yeah, tell everybody. Help local. Yeah. yeah. Frida. Free, Free delivery. Frida tacos. Free. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. And, yes, our full schedule can be found at barratedtrivia.com, but it just keeps on growing We've got all these events on Tuesdays, so coming up tomorrow, we're so happy to be back at the Wooden Tap, all Wooden Tap locations that are currently open right now. Other great places like Rebel Dog Tavern in Plainville, Bear Smokehouse in New Haven. Come and hang out with me at Parkville Market in Hartford. Wednesdays, we got a bunch of great games going on, too. I was actually up in Bernardston, Massachusetts, which is like on the Vermont border, this past uh, Wednesday with our host Emma up there at Zeke's Bar and Grill. Also, we're uh, excited. Illicit Brewing Company in Manchester starts this week on Wednesday. And another one of the Eli's Group restaurants, uh, Colt will be hosting Eli's on Whitney down in Hamden. That starts next week, Thursday. It's a bunch of games going on. Brand new at Olives and Oil, Patacock 1850. And then, of course, uh, Fridays and Saturdays, we got our games going on as well. So, trivia.com find our full schedule. You can always email us or find us on Facebook, Instagram, too. All right, Sarah, who is your favorite cast member of all time of Saturday Night Live? Mm, I'm going to go with Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig, all time favorite. Yeah. That's a good I one. Mean, I like like so many of them, but she just stands out if you're if I'm on the spot answering that question. But you were. What about you, Colt? 
Uh, yeah, that is a big question. Yeah. Uh, I think you have to go by like the cast. Though. Yeah, I don't. It's tough. I, I, I I've been watching the Dana Carvey show, so I, I Dana, really like Dana yeah, Carvey. Yeah, Dana Carvey was great. We did George Bush Sr. Yeah. I gotta say Will Ferrell though. There's nobody that ever made me laugh harder on <laughs> Saturday Night Live. The cowbell skit. Yeah, no, yeah. there's so many good it's ones. It's tough. It's yeah. tough to pick. But yeah, she's just she really has me chortling by myself. Like. I don't like that. <laughs> Well, tell us also in the comments who's your favorite uh, Saturday Night Live cast member. And round number two, we're going to pay some homage to Saturday Night Live. A little, it's mostly some of the classic questions, classic cast, all that good stuff. Some newer ones, too. But good luck with it. We've got 10 for you. Don't forget, round number three is going to be Major League Baseball Legends because we're all excited that we're doing a trivia game in a baseball park September 20th. It's going to be our office-themed trivia game, which we'll be talking about a lot more coming up. But here we go. We're going to get into our game in 30 seconds of my time. So get ready and good luck to you. What about a favorite uh, guest host, Sarah? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I have no, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's there's, gotta be. there's so many. The Eddie, like, the Eddie Murphy one that just happened. Was that it? was good, yeah. I like also it when Betty Adam White Sandler one, came yeah. back. That was a pretty good one. I like I like the music acts too because I learn about new art artists. The music is a big game. Maybe yeah. there's going to be some music questions in here too. All right, we're getting ready, and we are getting our game started. So good luck to you as we kick things back off. Here you go. Here is question number eleven. You're seeing your scores back up on there. And Colt, I actually just emailed you that uh, graphic for the yard guns for you to get up oh, on the I could get it in by the end of the show. That's what she said. Martha, oh, read at me, but first, second, third. All right, here we go. As of 2020, who has hosted Saturday Night Live the most times? Look at that video, too. Wow, look at that work. <laughs> Alec Baldwin, Chevy Chase, Steve Martin, or Tom Hanks? Who has hosted Saturday Night Live the most times? Uh, Sarah, your first this. Alec Baldwin, Chevy Chase, Steve Martin, Tom Hanks, all amazing when they're on yeah, the show. Yeah, uh, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, that's playing on the back thing? Yeah. That's oh, funny. I get it. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, you're both saying Alec Baldwin. That is absolutely correct. So, good job to both of you. Martha Regan is in second. And Evan is now in first place. No, third place, sorry. All right, which former Saturday Night Live cast member was known for portraying the character Opera Man during the weekend update segments? You better answer quick for fast points because he's <laughs> right there. Is it Adam Sandler, <laughs> Bill Murray, Chris Farley, or John Belushi? Uh, Colt, who is that? Well, that looks like Adam Sandler. You're saying Adam Sandler. I mean, I, I know Opera Man, though. I would have gotten him. What about you? Can you do an Opera Man impression? No. No. What about you, Sarah? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, A. You're, you're concurring? A for Adam. Yep. A is for Adam, and that's good enough for 92% of the votes for also. Girl. So, uh, yes, good job that all of you knew that that is Adam Sandler. <laughs> uh, Regan in first, Martha in second, and Kent is in third. Here we go. Uh, in what year did Saturday Night Live first air on NBC? Ooh, was it 1955, 1965, 1975, or 1985? Sarah, we're going to you for this one first. What year did SNL first air on NBC? From 30 Rockefeller Plus. 75, I think. You're saying... Yeah? yeah. You're good? You all right there? No, I was, I was on purpose. I didn't sneeze. You don't have to bless me. What are you, what are you saying, Cole? C, yeah, I agree. You're, you're saying C as well. Let's see what America... 86% also saying C. Yeah, it was 1975. I was almost did like 45 in that spread out. But that wow. Was Regan, Martha, and, uh, and Kent with uh, third place. Uh, Fest Drunk Brothers, Yoturk and George were two <laughs> wild and crazy guys uh, during the early years of Saturday Night Live. Who played them? Was it Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, Dan Aykroyd, Steve Martin, Steve Martin and Chevy Chase, or Chevy Chase and Bill Murray? Who were the 
to Wild and Crazy Guys. I guess they were supposed to make a movie about it, too, which never happened. Uh, Colt. Uh, B. You're saying Dan Aykroyd and Steve Martin, the guys you in that You have to think picture. about it, because it's the same names all over it's the true. place. It's true, yeah. Sarah? Uh, it's B. It is B. But I wouldn't have known that without the little... Uh, the picture? The picture. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to help everybody out here. 71% saying Dan Aykroyd and Steve Martin. That is correct. Uh, Regan, Martha, and Kent uh, with uh, 978. Let's go on. Okay, music. Paul Simon and what other performer are the only two singers to have hosted Saturday Night Live at least five times? Mm. All right. Uh, Blake Shelton, Madonna, Miley Cyrus, or Justin Timberlake? So, Sarah, you're first on this one. I have no idea, but I'll go with Madonna. You're saying Madonna. Just for... I can't remember Madonna ever... Right, whatever, this I, I remember. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Colt? Justin. You're saying Justin Timberlake has hosted five times. Let's see what America said. 83% also saying JT. And yes, of course, all his funny things with the Lonely Island and Adam Sam, Andy Samberg. Is that what it is? Regan, uh, Ken, and Martha, first, second, and a third place. A very close game right now. So let's see what happens. Question number 16. Uh, in December 2019, what former Saturday Night Live cast member returned to host the show for the first time in 35 years? All right, let's go back. Bill Murray, Eddie Murphy, Chevy Chase, or Joe Piscopo? Which one of them returned for the first time in 35 years? Sarah, uh, Colt's up first. Uh, I gave it away again. Uh, B. Well, you're saying B, Eddie Murphy. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. I know Chevy hates them over there, too. But what uh, what about you, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, B. It is. I'm trying to just throw everybody off a little bit. It's 100%. It was Eddie Murphy returning, and he did a It was a really funny. I did he do the Gumby skit? Yep. On yeah, Weekend he... Update, yeah. All right, Ken jumping into first. Regan and Martha, first, second, and a third place right now. Here we go. Here's question number 17. All right, which Saturday Night Live cast member is known for her portrayal of a Target store cashier? Would it be Amy Poehler, Sarah's favorite Kristen Wiig, Maya Rudolph, or one of my favorites, Tina Fey? Let's see. Uh, Sarah. Target store cashier. Who is that? I don't remember, but I think it's Maya Rudolph. You're saying Maya Rudolph was the target person? What about you, Colts? It's Sarah's favorite. It is Sarah's No, favorite. I didn't get it right. It's 100%. Oh, yeah. my God. Well, 51% <laughs> saying Kristen Wiig. Wow. And, yeah, Colt, with that, you have tied Sarah now. You guys are both 10 uh. for 10. Uh, 10. Well, not 10 for 10. 10 out of 17. Uh, Ken, Martha, Regan, first, second, and Churd at the moment. <laughs> Sure, Again, sure. Will Forte, moving on, starred in what Saturday Night Live par parody of the 80s TV show MacGyver? Was it MacGabber, <laughs> McGardle, McGoffle, or McGruber? Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh my God. He's taking off his glasses. He's got another pair on. I love That's that. So Look funny. At that. Uh, Colt. Uh, McGruber. Isn't this one of your favorites? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You, Sarah? yeah, it's D. D for McGruber. They were always funny. I do. I did enjoy those. Let's see. I just love this back gift. on a peacock. McGruber? Yeah. It just says it don't show. Yeah. 76% saying McGruber. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, they're looking for content all over the place. Ken, Martha, Chuck, welcome to the fold, Chuck. You're in third place right now behind Martha and Ken. All right. Appearing in 16 Saturday Night Live episodes between 1997 and 2002. Chris Kattan wore tight shorts and a beret as a male exotic dancer named what? Was it kiwi, mango, peaches, or tangelo? Look at J-Lo in that gift I right know, there. it's so <laughs> She looks good. Uh, let's see, uh, Sarah. Um, what was Chris Kattan's character? The mango. It's the mango. How do you do it? I forgot. But Colt, what do you say? Mango. It is mango. Mango, mango. Nobody loves the mango. <laughs> Only 41% getting that. What? Wow. You don't know that about the mango? It was the mango. Go look that up it's if you know what I'm talking about. All right, Ken, Brian, and Martha. First, second, and third. And here we go. Question number 20, a tough one from 1975 to 2014. What television Hall of Fame inductee was the narrator announcer on Saturday Night Live? Was it Don Pardo, Ed McMahon, Tracy Jordan, or Rod Roddy? Who was the narrator? <laughs> All right. Colts. Yeah, Don Parlo, Don Man, Tracy Pardo. Jordan, or Rod I'm, Rowdy? I'm going to go with Don Pardo. You're going with the Don Pardo. All right, Sarah? Yeah. Rod Rowdy doesn't sound like a real name, and I know it's not Tracy Jordan or Egg McMahon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Oh, no, it was Don Pardo. So with that, and as we break after a total of 20 questions in two categories, Ken is in first with 1478. Brian with a Y is in second with 1379. And Martha is in third with six, uh, 1369. So a very close game as we continue on. And don't forget that Major League Baseball Legends is the category for round number three. And go to barreadatrivia.com if you're interested in one of our 28 live games that we have going on across Connecticut and Massachusetts. People love our Hot Fingers game. And we're happy to play socially distanced trivia with them. While we can't do our bar rated trivia game, it's a nice offering. People are having a lot of fun. If you want to email us and find out information about that, two or private events, bar rated trivia at gmail.com. But Sarah, please tell us a little bit more about Dine In CT, our wonderful sponsor of this show, keeping us going since all this started back in March. Well, I want to talk about your weekend plans. And, uh, or during the week, I guess. I shouldn't say just the weekend because you might go to a brewery during the week. But people like to go and brewery hop on the weekends. The problem is a lot of these breweries don't have uh, food. You know, sometimes they bring in a food truck. Maybe it's not what you want, though. Um, so Dine In Connecticut works with a lot of breweries to make sure that you get some food to go with your libations, your bubbles there. And uh, it's on their website. All the information is at dineinct.com. You can see what uh, the whole list of breweries all throughout Connecticut. Plan on your favorite one and then make sure you can... Uh, you could probably even pre-order your food if you knew you were going to be there, but or you could just call them up, 860-673-DINE. Just do it before you've had too many, and uh, make sure you fill your tummy with some other things that Dine and CT can bring you. Yeah, eat before you drink. The mayor of fun taught me that. Eat before you drink. Don't, yep. don't learn that the wrong way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello to our friends, uh, by the way. You want to know who's not playing from Connecticut? Yeah. We got Caitlin Granby playing in Florida. Hi, Caitlin. Hope you're feeling well. Uh, uh, we've got Jess in New Hampshire. We've got uh, Pigeons Aren't Real in Springfield, Mass. Uh, the Brazil in Buffalo, New York. So it's good to see everybody hanging out with us on a Monday. And um, yeah, just well, just throw the image up. Put this one. Well, yeah, that's a cat. Casper, the friendly cat, wishes you all good luck today. <laughs> <laughs> if you have pet yeah. page, trivia, gmail.com. But then, yeah, dinner on the Diamond Trivia Night. Set your alarm and your <laughs> calendar to September 28th at 6 p.m. Dinner, touch-free trivia, prizes, and fun. Literally sitting on the diamond inside of Dunkin' Donuts Park while trivia is being played up on the Jumbotron. The Jumbotron. I'm going to be on the Jumbotron. Sarah will be on the Jumbotron. Colt will be back here <laughs> because it's on a Monday and he's going to be running the Dine and CT game. So, <laughs> sorry, Colt. He'll come down afterwards. What's up the cats and dogs for the dinner on the house? Yeah, it was on the fly. Oh, okay. I got what he was. <laughs> like, what the- I'm catching what he was pitching out there. So, okay, you know, meow. That's called a last minute graphic add up. Okay. <laughs> good job, Colt. Mm-hmm. All right, so speaking of good job, Colt uh, is tied with Sarah still with a total of 13 to 13 right now as we get into the finale of our game. Hi, Mom, by the way. I didn't say hi. Hi, Sue. Mom. Yes, hi. Love you. Um, and, yeah, at the end of the game, we're going to have our 50-point phrase, which you just got to come up to us wearing your mask at a table, and hopefully the host will know about it. I think I told everybody about it. But you just say, hey, the 50-point phrase is, ee well, it's not eating. I got to tell you what it is. And it's going to come up at the end of this. It'll always be at the end of each show. And then if you've missed one of these shows and you're going to a live game, just go to Where Cults and search up what. Oh, stop listening. Uh, uh, YouTube, I'm pretty sure you're talking about. Yeah. Party. We're going to put all these shows on there. So, yeah, you can find them all. That's what, Whenever I throw it to you, it's usually about YouTube. That's what I was hoping. Who cut your hair, by the way? That was. Oh, a friend of mine, uh, Alyssa Nicolette, Bloom Studios in Norwalk, Connecticut. There you go. So shout out, of course. I like it. It's a good like swoosh that you got going. Yeah, I still got to figure it out. But yeah, yeah, it's there though. It's there. <laughs> All right, good job. All right. Get back into the game. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. I'm just very relaxed today. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I'm relaxed. Patriots won yesterday. I was happy about that. Mm-hmm. Cam Newton looked great. But we're going to talk about baseball, which I haven't been really watching because the Red Sox and the Giants, my two teams, suck. But we're going to talk about some baseball greats because we're excited about doing trivia in a ballpark. So round number three will be 
MLB great. So uh, good luck to you with this. Do I have sports music? No, I thought I had something. In there. Uh, maybe I'll add something in. Uh, all right. So, uh, Skull, you know nothing about sports, really, Sarah. You're not, you don't really know anything about sports. Well, so baseball specifically. It's anybody's game right now. We're going to get the game going. 30 seconds, uh, my time. I'm going to start things back up. So, good luck to you. And if you do want to say thank you for us doing these games, because uh, we're basically just coming out here and doing this for you, uh, you can thank us by sending some uh, donations to PayPal, barratedtrivia at gmail.com, or Venmo at barratedtrivia. You do so, we take some of the proceeds and we donate them to BAM! Turtles! Yes! Rowing Brook Nature Center. Turtles. Turtle, turtle, turtles. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. There we go. Yeah, we, we love working with Roybrook Nature Center. And, uh, oh, a shout-out real quick. Uh, thanks to Sam from Roybrook for helping me save the mouse. You want to hear about the mouse, stay till the end of the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> you ready? I forgot all about the mouse. Oh Roybrook helped me save his baby mouse. All right, we're starting the game back up. 13-13 for our players in here. Uh, Ken from Vernon, Connecticut. Is in the lead, Brian with a Y in second, and Martha in the third. Here we go. Here is question number 21, Major League Baseball. This was so tough to only find 10 questions about baseball because I love it so much. So here we go. Question number one, Sarah. Okay. Born in Baltimore in 1895. What was Babe Ruth's actual first name? I don't know. Was Bernard. It, uh, Bernard, Edward, George, or Jonathan. I'm about to learn, that's for sure. What do you think it was? Bernard. You're saying Bernard Ruth. All right, uh, Colt. Yeah. I don't know either. Should I just put my pen down? Yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe. But some uh, people well, will I'll love guess, this I'll, guess, I'll guess George. You're, 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 you're going to guess George Ruth. His, yeah. his middle name was Herman. Uh, his first name, uh, 88%. George Herman Ruth would be the answer for that. So Colt with I the point. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't. No, that was a guess. I could tell. Ken, Brian, Martha, first, second, third. Bear down, Regan, Chuck. Uh, oh, FRB is in seventh right now. Good to see you. Barris is probably down at the bottom. Uh, Atlanta Braves and which other team have retired jersey numbers 44 in honor of Hank Aaron? Han Hammer and Hank Aaron, one of the best hitters of all time, home run hitters especially. Uh, what other team did he play for? The Dodgers, the Brewers, the uh, New York Yankees, or the Texas Rangers? Colts. I'm going to go with Milwaukee. 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 All right, Sarah. Um, uh, Rangers. The New York, oh, Texas Rangers. <laughs> I'm just looking That's hockey. Yes, that is hockey. Uh, you're saying the Rangers uh, with three other people, 44% guessing the Brewers. Colts with Whoa. another <laughs> correct answer. Storming up here, Ken T. Brian Bear Down is now. I don't know how you're getting these right. First, second, third. I mean, it's common knowledge. It's all like old stuff. Let's see what we do. Uh, well, at least for, I guess, boys that like the baseball. I literally guys. don't know anything. All right. In 2000, sorry, in 1985, Pete Rose passed which other player as Major League Baseball's all time leader in career hits? Was it Ty Cobb, Stan Musial? Was it Trish Speaker? Or was it Honus Wagner? All right. First, where was it that Pete Rose paused? Sorry, I'm having a little technical difficulties. Right oh, that's cool. No, it's not cool. Uh, no. Oh, uh, well, the comment was cool. Yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with Honus. <laughs> okay, Honus, what about you, Sarah? Uh, Ty. Sarah's saying Ty Cobb. Ty Cobb, Sarah, you oh, got no. the point right on that one. Mm -hmm. Catching up a little bit to Colt. My momentum. She got it. Well, we still have many questions. Yeah, we're that's still true. due. So, Kenty, Bry, Bear, all right, question number 24. Which baseball player is known as the Say Hey Kid? Roy Campanella, Reggie Jackson, Willie Mays, or Brooks Robinson? MLB greats, Colts. Which baseball player is known as the Say Hey Kid? Is it C? Oh. Willie Mays. What about you, Sarah? Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson was known as Mr. October. So, mm. no, you're wrong. Okay. Uh, Colts saying Willie Mays and Colts. Ooh. You with 90, 1%, yeah, are correct. That would be Willie Mays. He's actually Barry Bonds' godfather, Willie Mays, if you didn't know that. Ken T, Brian Regan, first, second, and third. Here we go. Question number 25. Uh, in 1995, Cal Ripken Jr., going back to Baltimore, uh, broke which player's record for consecutive games played, which was 21-31, 2,131 games. Well, this other person had 21-30. Uh, Roberto Clemente, Lou Gehrig, Mickey Mantle, or Frank Robinson. Sarah, you got to know this. Lou Gehrig? Lou Gehrig, Colt? I'll go with Roberto. Really? Sarah, 
with the points. Oh my god. Getting it right. Yeah, Lou Gehrig. <laughs> Lou Gehrig had this crazy streak going on and he had to leave baseball yeah, because of he got sick. Well, yeah, Lou Gehrig's disease, yeah, ALS. Uh, Ken T. Brian Regan, first, second, and third. That's what he said. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Right? That was Lou Gehrig. Which part pitcher uh, received the nickname the big unit? Whoa. Who's the big? <laughs> We're going to get a cult first for this one. Oh, no. <laughs> Roger Clemens, Bob Feller, oh, Randy God. Johnson, Jim Palmer. Who's the big unit? I'm going to say A. Roger <laughs> Clemens. He was a big boy. But uh, Sarah? Oh, my God. I don't know. Randy Johnson. You're saying Randy Johnson. <laughs> no idea. Is the big unit. Oh, no. You just want to keep saying the big unit? That's why I put this question in there. Okay. The big unit. All right. It was supposed to be an odd question. Randy Johnson. Oh, my God. And I'm right. And mm. Sarah is correct and tying it up with Colt. Randy Johnson was like <laughs> six foot four. Or maybe even hot, taller than that. But yeah, he was a big boy. Uh, Ken T, Brian Regan, first, second, third. Can Ken T hold on to this victory? Barry Bonds played for the San Francisco Giants and which other MLB team? Barry Bonds, like him or not, is the all-time home run leader in Major League Baseball. What other team did he play for before the Giants? The Orioles, the Tigers, Oakland Athletics, or the Pittsburgh Pirates? Sarah. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go, Arr. it was the Pirates. All right. Colt? I'm going to say Oakland. Colt saying Oakland. And let's see, 50% saying the uh -oh. R Pirates. <laughs> Wait, is that right? And that is <laughs> Fourth round. I don't know. I'll tell you, one time we did give the answers away and we were messing with you, Cole, but this time you are not messing around. Ken I feel good about Oakland. Oh, no. Wrong. Nobody feels good about Oakland. You're wrong. All right. <laughs> Question 28. <laughs> Who is the most recent player to hit 400 in a Major League Baseball season? So four, that's It's tough to do. Okay. So who's the most recent person? Was it Derek Jeter, Tony Gwynn, Pete Rose, or Ted Williams? Uh, Cole. I'm going to go with B, Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwen, the great Tony Gwen, played for the uh, the Padres, San Diego. Let's see, Sarah. Uh, Derek Jeter. I don't know. Derek Jeter of the Yankees. Look at that. Derek Jeter, 39% of the votes, and it's wrong. I threw that in there. I wanted to see what people voted just because it was Jeter. No, Ted Williams. Nobody else has hit over 400 other than Ted Williams. It's next to impossible. Ken T. Brian Regan, first, second, and third. Question number 29. Well, we'll see what happens this year because it's such a short season. Uh, which pitcher holds the record for most career no-hitters? All right, Bob Gibson, Pedro Martinez, Nolan Ryan, or Tom Seaver? Uh, Sarah, these wow. are names. I need you to pick one. Okay, B. You're going to say Pedro, Pedro Martina. Martinez. Yep. Colt. I was thinking B. All right. It's the only you're, name I've heard. You're both going with B. You've never heard of Nolan Ryan, Bob Gibson, or Tom Seaver. I've yeah, heard of Nolan Ryan, but yeah. I don't know what they do. But we're both going with Pedro. I'm going to keep my pen firmly docked on my <laughs> notepad right here. Nolan Ryan <laughs> is the <laughs> correct answer. So there we go. That is it. And uh, here we go. Here is our last question with Ken T. In the first, Brian and Regan right here. And here we go. As 2020, right now, who is the most recent player to join the 3000 Hit Club? Adrian Beltre, Albert Pujols, Alex Rodriguez, the cheater known as Alex Rodriguez, or Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, Colt, close it out. You go with Pujols. Albert Pujols. How confident are you? Not very. So hey. he called A-Rod a cheater. So well, Sarah, you're up by one. <laughs> Ichiro. Oh, so You're going on. Ichiro Suzuki. Yep. Wow. And wow, it is a tie between Alex, but the correct answer would be Albert Pujols, oh, oh. which means I think for the first time. Yeah. Is it? Is it the first time you guys have ever tied? Snake eyes. You both win. All right, but Yay. more importantly, Ken T is your winner, our buddy up there in Vernon, Connecticut. 27 out of 30 right. Chuck is in second. And Brian with a Y is in third. Regan in fourth. And Miriam, good to see you here in fifth place. But our top three teams getting a 50, 30, and a $20 gift card from our friends at Dine in Connecticut. Those will get mailed to you within 24 hours. So congratulations to you. And Thanks for playing. Leave us a review on Facebook or just even in the comments right here on this video if you're watching. And again, if you want to help us out, you know, Colt's haircut wasn't cheap. We got to pay for that. Bar Rated Trivia at Gmail on PayPal or Venmo at Bar Rated Trivia.
And good job to you. Well, you both got 12. Well, what was this? No, it was 17 to 17. Okay. That's not bad. I, I, can, I can do it. You did better at baseball than gemstones. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> That's not true. I think See, I guys, Sarah needs some new jewelry, all right, guys? At hashtag Wadsy. Yeah, I need her. to learn more she about jewelry. She needs to jewels. learn the jewelry, so go buy her some. <laughs> right. Oh, look how close this was, too. Ken T in the first, 2288. Chuck, 2223. I saw a game at Huskies uh, that we do on Wednesdays in their big you know, pavilion. It was a 10-point differential for 40 points for the, the victor. What? They came down to that close of a hot fingers. I noticed that when I was resetting the games today. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, should we give the 50-point phrase? Of course. All right, so what you need to do is you got to say, well, the 50-point phrase to the host when you go to one of the games. Wear your mask when you come up to the table. There's nothing that you need to write down. And, and Sarah, um, it, it might take a while. What's, I'm trying to think of something to set it up. Uh, <laughs> the 50-point phrase. What, what's the 50-point phrase? It's, that's what she said. It's that's what she said. So I, I couldn't think of a joke. <laughs> hey, that's pretty long. You can long. bring back in the big unit. and then. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, I, It's better when you set it up and then I throw it out too. <laughs> So that's what she said. All you got to do is go to the host and or even say a, that's what she said joke. But regardless, you get 50 points. And that is because we have our big game. Finally, uh, we're there. We're finally in the the stadium at Dunkin Donuts Park. Just show, just throw the whole banner. I mean, all right, okay, the dogs on the side are fine. Too. But yeah, dinner on the diamond, the office, September 20th, 6 p.m. Tickets are on sale now. There's only a limited amount of tickets for that. And we should have an event page up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Manana, yeah. So we're going to have that up. And share with your friends. We're, we're trying to put some, like, excitement stuff in there. I tell you to to dress up in a suit like an office, but it's going to be so nice yeah. out that I'm not, I'm not dressing up in a suit myself. Do something creative, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. You can dress up like a stapler. Come, come dressed as Michael Scott uh, uh, during the, the fun run or whatever that jog that they went and did. Yeah. Something like that. That would be good. Go run the bases. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been a pleasure. That's what she said is the 50-point phrase. Sarah, do you have any uh, parting words? Are you talking about plugs? Yeah. Yeah. I have so many. No. I don't want to take up too much time, but uh, come visit with me tomorrow at Wooden Tap. Game starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, every Tuesday and then Wednesday, I go out to Simsbury for uh, Iron Horse Pub and Pizzeria. We have a fun game out on the open patio there. Big open patio. Uh, Thursday brings me to Time Out Grill, a uh, sports bar in Bristol, Connecticut. And Friday, Rooster Company. What? Also outside. Well, if it's nice out, it's outside. It's going to be. I think it's going to so be beautiful. It's probably just going to rain on Thursday again four. like it does every single. It's four games you can see me at. <laughs> and what about you, Colt? Uh, yes, I have yeah, games, too. If you want to stalk Sarah, that's where she's going to be. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah, writing that down. Uh, <laughs> for me, I'm going to be at Orange Ale House tomorrow. And, of course, we got some crazy prizes. So definitely stay tuned. Yeah, go win a TV. Yeah. yeah, they put up insane prizes. What you're going to need And there soon. is no catch. You can win this stuff. Uh, so that's Orange Ale House tomorrow night. Come say hi. On a Thursday, I'll be at Olives and Oil in New Haven. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably join uh, Sarah on Rooster Company Friday. You know, you're going Our to join her because you got to set that tent Yeah, up. I need to help. <laughs> uh, yeah. You will 100% I'm be there. a little bit of mystery, but I'll be there. And then, and then of course, you're going to be at uh, Eli's on Whitney returning yes, next week. Yes, soon. I'm excited. And uh, also, go to the YouTube page and uh, you know, all that. Follow me. Hi, my name is Colt. Instagram. We're working on even more locations. We're going to be adding on. There's one, uh, another brewery I'm not going to mention yet because it's not 100%, but we're definitely looking forward to working with them. Uh, my name is Goldberg. I am going to be at, and this isn't giving away, we're not going to be at City Steam. I'll give a shout out to City Steam, hopefully opening soon. And I know that our host, uh, Barris, Brian Harris, will be bringing his Brains and Brews trivia back there on Wednesday. So look at that. I'm even giving shout outs for other trivia companies. Oh, Isn't that nice? benevolent. Well, being not, he's not that a company, he's a guy. He works for us yeah. and does his own game. So. And he does a fine job of it. So that's going back to City Steam. I still love City Steam. Um, yeah, you could come and hang with me by the Sneaking of Hartford Tuesday at Parkville Marketplace. That was awesome last week. It's huge. It's outside. The people have their dogs out there. There was a kid riding around on a Razor scooter going through all the tables, and it was just a lot of fun. And it's like 
Have you ever been to Faneuil Hall yes. in, in Boston? You know what I'm talking about? Faneuil Hall, Colt, you've been there? Uh, I don't think Have so. Have you been out of Connecticut ever? I've been to Boston. Okay. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe oh, once. No. So, Faneuil Hall, it's like the best food court in the entire world. Like, it's got everything that you would really want, but it's a little more commercialized with some yeah. places there. Oh, yeah. So, this place, Parkville Market, in, you know, it's outside of downtown Alfred, right off Park Street, and they're just like redoing all these old uh, warehouses down there. And they turned it into this local food court. And you could get everything from pho to mafungo to to ribs to crab shack stuff to, I mean, the list goes on. And uh, Chinese, and, and I think there's like a Tibetan food. What is Tibetan food? I think like Salvadorian, like, too. And like they just added Kentucky hot chicken. So oh, is that what the other thing yeah. was, too? Ah, all right. So it's they, like I mean, really anything. I'm going down early tomorrow so I can eat. I got there late yes, uh, last week, so I wasn't able to, to go and eat, actually, before. But yeah. definitely come and check this place out. It's, um, oh, that's the one that I played already before. Um, go and check it out. Parkville Market. We're there at 6 o'clock every single Tuesday. Come and hang out with us. I think uh, Mr. Brett Barry is joining me tomorrow to uh, check that out. One of our other hosts. Not that he's taking it over from me. This is my game. But he might take it over. because I, <laughs> I know. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I like being here in the studio. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? All right. So, peace and love, everybody. Is that it? Did we hit all the stuff? That's what she said is the 50-point uh, phrase for the week of September 14th. New schedule, all that stuff. We're good. Yeah, we, we gotta just think about it. you. Just gotta end it. Cut the. Cut Thanks the for watching, everyone. Yep, thank You're you. the best. Bye. 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 Who was the president in 1981? Which Star Wars episode was the destruction of Al Duran? Grab the smartest friends, you know it's time to start the game. Far-rated trivia, we're here to train your brain.